when building a server-side application, you typically have multiple environment variables to hold data like sensitive API keys that you need to interact with other services from your back end. In addition, you probably need to manage multiple sets of environment variables, like one for development and testing, and another for production. If you screw things up with environment variables, it could be disastrous. All you gotta do is not f up. Deploy the wrong environment and your app won't work, or if you accidentally leak your environment variables, a hacker could obtain your API keys and take destructive action on your account. Firebase recently changed the way it handles environment variables when using cloud functions as your back end. And in this quick video, we'll take a look at how to do it properly. Previously, it was necessary to use the Firebase CLI to set each environment variable individually. But this is no longer the recommended way to do things. And that's great because the new way is much more developer friendly. Now it's possible to create a .env file in the root of your project and set each individual environment variable there. It should be a key in all caps followed by a value. And now you can access these values natively in the Node.js environment with process.env followed by the environment variable key. Nice and easy, but the cool thing here is that you can also have multiple environments. If we create a .env.dev file, we can use the CLI to tell it to use that dev environment when running locally, and it will apply the environment variables in the corresponding file. And that makes things much easier for testing and development. Now, it's extremely important to point out here that you shouldn't put sensitive data in your .env files, especially if you plan on committing your code to a public Git repo, because then anybody could grab your API keys and do bad things to your account. Fortunately, Google Cloud has a service called Secret Manager designed exactly for this use case, and it's integrated with the Firebase CLI. To add sensitive data to your function's environment, use the Firebase CLI to define a value in the secret manager. Now, unlike .env, that data won't be available everywhere, and you need to scope it to the functions that use that value by adding the secret to the run with config options. Once that's done, you can then access it with process.env. That's how you manage environment variables in a Firebase Cloud function. Like and subscribe if you learned something new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.